In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Apple Watch Series 8. So the first thing you'll need to do is turn on the 8. So you'll want to find this side button and then press and hold. So I'll go ahead and press and hold here. And then we have the Apple logo appearing on the screen and momentarily some instructions will appear. And one thing to note is your phone does need to be updated to iOS 16. If it's not, you will get a prompt during this setup process to update to iOS 16. The process there is pretty similar. Just go to your settings app, go down to general, and then software update. And then you'll go ahead and download and install and go through a fairly lengthy install process there. So once you've done that, you'll see bring iPhone near Apple Watch. If you need a different language, you can tap this I here and scroll through the different languages. Tap on whichever one you need. You can also change a region. And it says open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and start pairing. But here we actually already have, I'll go back to the front page here, we already have use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch that has popped up on our iPhone. So I'll go ahead and use this method. So I'll tap continue. And here it says set up Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, you can set it up here. And it says we can set up for yourself or a family member. So tap on whichever is appropriate. For this demonstration, I'll be just setting it up for myself. So it'll be slightly different if you're gonna set up for a family member. So I'll tap set up for myself. Now it says, hold Apple Watch up to the camera, align it with the viewfinder above. So I'm gonna pick up my iPhone here, and I'm going to place it, I'll go ahead and swipe this down. I'm gonna place it so that the Apple Watch is in the screen, and there we go, it says your Apple Watch is paired. So it's a pretty quick, seamless process here. So I do have other Apple Watches paired to my account, so it is telling me, asking me rather, to make this your new Apple Watch. So it says, everything's set up as you had on your other Apple Watch. You can learn more about Express Setup. Looks like we can scroll here a little. So I have apps and data and settings. I can tap continue and I can customize settings. So I'm kind of curious, this is new this year. I've never seen this ability when you've had a previous Apple Watch to uh, customize your setup. And just FYI, this is the screen you will see. It's a very nice design here, just showing which case logo you have and the Apple logo and things like that on the screen. So I'll tap apps and data. So it says currently paired Apple Watch is my Apple Watch 7 which is what I was using, so I guess that's my only choice and that's okay. And then settings, so I can change my Siri. I'll go ahead and keep it on. Apple Watch orientation is the same. Location services, analytics, app analytics. I assume that's all what I had before. And let me see what happens if I click customize settings. Okay, so I can either restore from a backup choosing a backup from the list below or setting this Apple Watch up manually. So if you wanna set up as a new Apple Watch, even if you have a previous one, you would tap here to set up as a new Apple Watch. Or you could uh, go through any of the previous backups you have had. So let me see if I go back. So I'll go ahead and uh, set this one up as my Apple Watch. So I'll tap continue. And it's giving me terms and conditions. So you can either tap here to read all of the watchOS terms and conditions and the warranty and tap here to if agree, if you agree. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is if you wanna help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from your Apple Watch. So you can either share with Apple or don't share. For now, I'm gonna say don't share. And then Apple Watch passcode. When you set a passcode, Apple Watch locks when you take it off and requires the passcode to unlock. This helps protect your data. So I will go ahead and create a passcode here. You can choose add a long passcode or don't add passcode also. So 
I'll tap create a passcode. And so I heard a little chime here on the Apple Watch and it says enter a four digit passcode. So I'll go ahead and do that now. This will not be the passcode that I'll be using. And so the nice thing here is if you do have something that's easily guessed, they will tell you this code can be easy guessed and you still want to use it. So you can either change or use code. For now, I'm gonna use it, but I would not recommend using it if you really wanna keep your data safe. So I'll tap use code. It's asking me to re-enter. All right, so now it says bold text and size. Select your preferred reading experience. You can either bold the test text by tapping here, and you'll see on the Apple Watch itself that it has bolded the text. Or you can change the sides, text size, so you can make it smaller, or you can make it bigger. And it does nicely tell you that this is the default. So I'll go ahead and keep it on the default for now. You can also set this up later in the Apple Watch app. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. And it says shared settings. Apple Watch shares settings with iPhone for location services. Find my iPhone, Siri, and analytics and improvement. Some watch faces and apps may use your location when location services is on. Fitness and health apps will be downloaded to your iPhone. So I guess we just say okay here. Personalized fitness and health. So this information ensures fitness and health data are as accurate as possible. These details are not shared with Apple. So looks like we have date of birth, sex, height, weight. You can also toggle on or off whether you are uh, using a wheelchair. And it does say that turning on wheelchair will use pushes instead of steps for activity tracking. So if you need to change any of these things, you can tap on them and then change as needed. All right, so when you're done making any changes, you can tap continue. Safety, Apple Watch can help in an emergency. So we have emergency SOS, you can hold the side button to call emergency services and notify emergency contacts. Contacts. There's crash detection, if Apple Watch detects a car crash, you can, it can call emergency services for you. So that's new now with the Apple Watch Series 8. And backtrack, in a remote setting, Apple Watch can record your route in case you get lost. So these are just kind of telling you, I guess. They are already enabled, it sounds like. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. We do have a little progress wheel here to know it's doing something in the background. All right, Apple Pay. So we have add cards to Apple Pay to send money to friends and make secure payments and apps on the web and in stores using NFC. So you can either set up later in the Apple Watch app or you can continue. I'll go ahead and set up later in the Apple Watch app. Always on display, see what's on your Apple Watch even when your wrist is down. Sensitive content may not be visible by default but you can choose what's display displayed in settings. So again, this just seems like it's telling you, not giving you an option, so I'll go ahead and hit continue. App view, access your apps by pressing the digital crown. You can change the app view at any time in settings. All right, so I heard a little chime here on the Apple Watch and it says, welcome to Apple Watch. Looks like we can not do anything here. So I'll go ahead and hit okay. So now if I tap here, this is now my Apple Watch 8 with my previous settings. I can unlock it here. And here we go. So I can do all the usual things. I can tap to get to my apps. I can long press to change between grid view and list view. Oh, I guess I thought I... Okay, so there you go. So device added to your account and Apple Watch now has access to iMessage and FaceTime. If you don't recognize this device, you can remove it in settings. So I do recognize it because I just set one up, so I'll push okay. 
All right, so that's the basics of connecting your Apple Watch to your iPhone. So in another video, I'll go through everything you can do to customize and set up further your Apple Watch Series 8. So check that video out in the description below or in the end card of this video. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing if you want to see more Apple Watch content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.